The lost crown of Genghis Khan is mine, lads. <laughs> All it took was a bit of tenacity and perseverance. And a little kindness and patience. Right, Uncle Scrooge? Right you are, Webby darling. Now, where's Bubba run off to? Yeah, where is he? He was here a minute ago. Why does no answer Bubba? He's over there having a tea party with Webby's toys. No? Bubba smash! Uh-oh, Webby. Sounds like Bubba's not getting along so good with your Quacky Patch dolls. <gasps> you keep away from my dolls, mister! Uh, remember, kindness and patience, Webby Gale. Set a good example for the lad. Well then, what treasure shall we look for next? It's a long way to the moon, lads. But the green cheese of longevity will make it worth the trip. Up, up, and away! <laughs> Mr. McDuck, mm. I've never been to the moon before. <laughs> well, when it comes to space cadets, Fenton, you're a natural. <laughs> now, Gyro, why in blazes are we chewing this awful blue muck? <laughs> why, that's Oxy Chew, Mr. McDuck. It's my latest invention, oxygen flavored taffy. Five good chews, and you can breathe on the lunar surface without a spacesuit. Oh, and it tastes great, too! That gyro is a matter of opinion. <laughs> now, which way to the green cheese? What do you mean? Isn't it all around us? Eh? Yeah? How do you figure? Everybody knows the whole moon's made of green cheese! Well, that's what my dear mama said. And it would take a feather brain like you to believe her. Ugh, sometimes I don't know what I'm gonna... Wait, what's that? Look! Here's someone who can give us directions! Hello? Ah, Mr. McDuck! Help! Oh no! We've got to save him! Do we really? We do if you want to find that treasure of yours, Mr. McDuck. Fenton was carrying the Gizmo Duck suit. That's the only thing we've got powerful enough to break into the moon vault. All right, fine. Stay here and guard the supplies while I look for that bumbling bookkeeper. like the same spaceship that took off with Fenton. Well, <laughs> I guess this means I'm invited on board.
onward and upward. Ouch! How do you like that? Blast me bagpipes! A piece of gizmo duck suit! Oh, if only I had a way to open this door. Get down from there and stop embarrassing yourself. Mr. McDuck! Thank goodness you're here! I think those aliens wanted to suck out my brain and make an army of Fenton clones. Bah, they'd soon learn that one of you is one too many. Now, help me find a security override so we can get to your gizmo duck suit. You mean this? Security system disengaged. Fenton, you're a genius! Gee, Mr. McDuck, do you mean it? Oops. Warning. Damage report. Artificial gravity system is offline. Fenton, you're a nincompoop. You broke the gravity controls. Not to worry. I'll have it fixed in a jiffy. I got a level 3 certificate of technology from Happy Ducky University, you know. Oh, no you don't. You'll probably slam into the self-destruct button, too. I'll get us out of this. Gravity system restored. All systems normal. Nice work, Mr. McDuck. Now, let's go get my gizmo duck suit. Not so fast, Dunderhead. You go wait with Gyro. I'll find a gizmo duck suit myself. Yeah. <laughs> 
Why are you here, Mrs. Beakley? I wanted to see what the vacuum of space would do to my pie crust, Mr. McDuck. You're always as good as you want, my dear. I go. <laughs> Gizmo Duck's wheel. I've always wondered what Gyro was thinking when he designed this thing. Who fights crime with a unicycle? No. Only two more parts to find, and we can break into that moon bolt. like I found Gizmo Duck's armored suit. It's a good thing Gyro rigged up this hyperspace pocket for me to carry things around in. Now just one more path to find and I can get off this flying monstrosity.
Gizmo Duck's helmet. Oh, if I didn't know better, I'd swear Fenton actually gets smarter when he wears this thing. Oh, maybe I'm a wee bit too hard on the lad. Now that I've got all three parts, I can head back to Fenton and Gyro. Oh, I hope it's not too late. In luck, I managed to find all of Gizmo Duck's suit. <laughs> oh boy! Now we could blast into the treasure vault. Just a moment, Fenton. <clears throat> Gyro, I, uh, I think I left my favorite two-dollar bill under the back seat. <laughs> Would you mind getting it for me? Sure thing, Mr. McDuck. Gee, boss, why'd you send Gyro back onto the ship? So he doesn't find out you're Gizmo Duck when you put on that suit, you dunderhead. But there are only three of us here, sir. Won't he figure it out anyway when Gizmo Duck appears and I've mysteriously vanished? I wouldn't worry about that. Gyro may be a brilliant inventor, but his deductive reasoning skills are about as good as yours. Oh, hey! Would you just get on with it? Say your secret code word and activate that confounded contraption. Code word? Gee, I can't remember it. Oh, blather and blather, Skite, I'm useless. I mean, I'm useful to the extreme. Point me toward the offending blockade so that I might deal justice upon it. Cut the dramatics, would you, and follow me. Mr. McDuck? Fenton? Gizmo Duck? Huh. They're gone, and all I could find was this two million dollar bill. Oh well, back under the seat it goes. This is the place. Gyro's calculation said the green cheese of longevity lies just beyond this door. Step aside, citizen, whilst I blast the door asunder. How was that, Mr. Mc... I mean, oh, the path is clear, good sir. Good work, Ismoduck. No. Ah, Flintheart Glumgold. What are you doing here, you pernicious pilferer? Why, same as you, Scroogey. Trying to corner a new segment of the dairy market. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> but thanks for saving me the trouble of blasting through that door on my own. I'll stop him, Mr. McDuck! Halt, evildoer! No, Gizmo Duck. I need you to help me deal with the... Uh... Beagle Boys. Bah! Onward. Get rich 
I've been foolish. it here first. No, not the cheese. Anything but that. Great Scott. I thought that stuff was supposed to be an anti-aging culture, not an instant growth fungus. Giant moon rat or no giant moon rat, nothing's going to keep this duck from that green cheese and all the green it's going to make me. <laughs> Boys, 
All five treasures are mine. <laughs> uh, boys? <gasps> Sorry, McDuck, but your meddlesome nephews are a wee bit tied up at the moment. Flintheart Glomgold, you put the Beagle Boys up to this. Guilty as charged, Scroogey. I've been the world's second richest duck long enough, but these treasures will soon change that. <laughs> oh, tell your goons to release my boys. Not till you fork over that last treasure. Don't do it, Uncle Scrooge. Don't do it. The way I see it, McDuck, you're not in much of a position to argue. Yeah, I. You drive a hard bargain, Glumgold. Take it, you filthy cheat. <laughs> Flintheart Glumgold, the richest duck in the world. How does it feel to be number two, Scroogey? <laughs> Magic or dispel? dispel. Oh, <laughs> it's so rude of me to drop in unannounced. What are you doing here, Magica? Oh, quick, somebody sound the alarm. Duckworth, Mrs. Beagley, call the Pentagon. They sell me stock and bonds. Not so fast, fools. Like a Rudy, Uncle Scrooge, I can't move. Me neither. Now I know how a statue feels. Eh, greedy old fools. These treasures are far more valuable than money. And just what do you mean by that? You find secrets hidden inside old painting, yes? Painting of Drake Von Vladstone, also known as Count Dracula Duck. These treasures are part of spell to stubborn him. Bah, what rubbish. You will see, with power of Dracula Duck under my command, I will rule the world! <laughs> Unless, uh, you'd rather surrender number one dime, Scrooge. Dime is much gentler way to conquer world. Will save me a great deal of trouble. Also, less risk of accidental Dracula bite. The first dime I ever made? Never! Then I will take precious nephews instead. You will bring me dime quickly enough after that. Hey, Dimses are hostages. Find your own. Quiet, piggle boys. <laughs> now I take leave. Bring number one dime to my home and Mount Vesuvius in 24 hours, or little nephews will become Snackula for Dracula! Yeah! <laughs> oh dear, sometimes I still get carried away. The lousy, no good so and so. I stole those treasures, fair and square. This is no time for bellyaching, Glomgold. I've got to save those boys. Pah, forget it. That she-devil's long gone. You can't catch her now. Maybe you're right, Flinty. Ah, oh, that leaves me no choice. How about a deal? You help me get the boys back, and you can keep the five treasures. Ha! Without your dime... I'll become the richest duck in the world, and you'll be nothing but a shriveled up old has-been. <laughs> that dime's not worth ten cents next to the safety of my boys. Do we have an agreement? Are you joshing? It's a deal. You know what I think, McDuck? I think you've gone soft. You've let those pesky rugrats become a business liability, and I'm going to be the richer for it. Oh, go soak your head! Now remember our deal, Flinty. Help me rescue the lads, and the treasure is yours. You keep up your end, and I'll keep up mine. <laughs> <laughs>